हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैव एंड सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ लेट्स सॉल्व दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम व्हिच सेज दैट एक्सप्रेस द फोर्स एफ इन कार्टेशियन वेक्टर फॉर्म एफ एट एक्स एट द मिड पॉइंट बी ऑफ द रॉड सो दिस बी इज द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ दिस ए सी रॉड सो वी कैन फाइंड द कार्टेशियन वेक्टर फ्रॉम बी टू डी बाय यूजिंग दिस इक्वेशन सो वी कैन से दैट फोर्स एफ व्हिच इज एक्टिंग फ्रॉम b to d will be equal to its magnitude times the unit vector from b to d and similarly we can say that the magnitude of the force is given which is 600 so we will write 600 and the unit vector from b to d is the position vector from b to d divided by its magnitude so we need to find this position vector and its magnitude so once we find this position vector then we will be able to find this uh, force f cartesian vector representation so now from the given statement is we know that uh, the position vector from c to b or we can say that the position vector from b to c is equal to half of the position vector from a to c since point b is the midpoint of this ac rod so now we can find uh, position vector from a to c so i will write it here so r a c position vector so we need to move from a until that point c so in order to reach that point c from a we need to move 4 uh, meter distance in the negative k direction so i will write minus 4 k and then we need to move from here to here in the positive y direction and this distance is 4 meter so we need to move uh, plus 4 meter distance in the positive j direction and similarly we need to move 3 meters distance in the negative y direction so i will write minus 3 i so now this is our ac so if we divide it by 2 then we will be able to find our bc so our bc will be equal to minus 3 divided by 2 so this will be minus 1.5 i plus 4 divided by 2 so this will become 2j and minus 2k so now if i draw these vectors right so our bc so this is our our bc and let me find the let me draw an arrow so this will be r o b this is r b c so by head to tail rule the resultant of both of these will be r o c like this so this is by head to tail rule r o b then r b c and from the tail of r o b to the head of uh, r b c so this will be r o c the resultant of both of these so we can find this r o c directly so let me find r o c so from point o we need to move until that point c so to reach that point c we need to move uh 4 meter distance in the positive y direction so i will write plus 4 j and then we need to move 3 meter distance in the negative y direction so i will write minus 3 i so this is our oc now by head to tail rule we can write that this resultant our oc i will write that our oc position vector is equal to r o b plus r b c so we know our bc we know our oc so we can find our ob so we can write from this equation is our ob equal to our oc minus our bc so our oc is minus 3i plus 4j minus our bc so our bc is minus 1.5 i plus 2 j minus 2 k and if we we can add uh, i term with i term and j term with j term right so minus 3 minus 3 in minus into minus plus 1.5 so this will become minus 1.5 i so i can write this minus 1.5 i 
Similarly, 4 and minus into plus minus. So, 4 minus 2 is uh, plus 2j. And similarly, minus into minus plus 2k. So, this is our OB position vector. Now, we need to find BD. So, if I draw a vector from B to D, this will be the position vector from B to D which is required. So, our OB plus our BD will be equal to our OD using the head to tail method. Right? So, this is our OD. So, I can write that uh, our OB plus our BD this is equal to our OD. And we are interested to find this RBD in order to use this equation to find that Cartesian vector. So we can write that RBD is equal to ROD minus ROB, the position vector from O to B. So we can find our OD. We need to move from point O to reach that point D. So I can write that ROD. So to reach that point D from O, we need to move. 4 meter distance in the positive i direction so I will write plus 4 i then I need to move 6 meter distance in the positive j direction so I will write plus 6 j so this is our OD so I can write and we know our OB right so let me write our OB here so our OB is minus 1.5 i plus 2 j plus 2 k and from this equation, we need to subtract our OB from our OD. So I need to write minus sign here. So this sign will become positive. This will become minus and this will become minus, right? So 4 plus 1.5. So this is 5.5i and plus 6 minus 2. So this is plus 4j minus 2k. So this is RBD, position vector from B to D. And now we can find its magnitude as well. So the magnitude of our BD will be 5.5 square plus 4 square plus 2 square under the square root. So this is 5.5 square plus 4 square plus 2 square. And this gives us 7.089, right? So 7.089. Meters. So now we can use this equation. Let's say this is equation one. So from equation one, we can write that that f Cartesian vector is equal to six hundred, and the position vector from B to D is this position vector. So this is five point five i plus four j minus two k divided by its magnitude which is 7.089 and if I divide this 600 by this magnitude 600 divided by that answer so it is 84.64 so this is 84.64 and now if you multiply this so 84.64 multiply by 5.5 so this is 465.52 i then multiply by 4 338.56 plus 0.56 j and then we need to multiply it by minus 2 so this is minus 169 0.28 K and the units are in Newtons. So this is that Cartesian vector representation of that force F which was required. So this is the solution of this particular problem. Kindly subscribe my channel and like this video if you people want me to solve such more problems from engineering statics by Hebler.